very shiny and new, of course. It opens its doors this morning at 8.30 a.m. And it's chosen a pretty competitive lineup because it's next door to Lombok, it's next door to Habitat, next to Heels. So a plethora of stores offering you homeware. But they have managed to make it feel very different in the installations. They've got sort of pop-up installations. It's very festive. They've got Christmas decorations, obviously. But it's huge. They've got a huge living plant as part of the decoration, a wall of, of plants, which you'll see in, in our interview. So it, it did feel very... It felt sexy, actually. It felt good. I, I came out wanting nearly everything from it to put on my beds in terms of decanters, in terms of mulled wine syrup even as well. But what's interesting is about yet another company wanting to move into Europe but choosing London as the hub of which to do it. Mm. It's really the gateway to all of Europe. And so we're here and we're going to launch this first store. We're looking for other locations for our other brands, Potter Barn and Potter Barn Kids. And then we're going to support all of our brands with fully integrated e-commerce. And how are you growing penetration online? And, and can you expand into Europe using your online facilities? Yes. Yeah, so, um, you know, the way we've grown all of our brands in America is that we have a very large e-commerce business. In fact, it's close to 50% of our sales. It's a big deal. And it's very instructive in that it shows you where the customers are. So if you have e-commerce over a wide range of, of area, for example, we're going to be serving all of UK as we open the store, um, shipping, we'll then know where you might want to drop the next door based on the amount of customers that are there. So there's not one location that you're desperate to get into next in Europe? Well, we're looking um, all over the place at, at great locations. But we'd like to fill out London with our other brands first. It also involves local artists, so that's what's setting them apart from their rivals just across the road. 